Welcome to the Switch Clicks Podcast, episode 88, recorded on June 14th, 2022. Tonight, we'll be discussing our favorite announcements from the XE3 or Summer Game Fest. Minus Nintendo. My name is Dakota, and today I'm joined by Tyler. Hello. Nathan. Hello. And Kaiser. How dare you? Absolutely. How dare you? And can I just say, this is a very first time in a while that the four of us were actually back here together in an episode. Yeah, it's certainly been a while. And we are technically recording this on the day that Nintendo should have done their, statistically, should have done their Nintendo Direct for E3. Um, But it looks like rumors point to us getting a Direct kind of at the last week of the month, which I'm honestly okay with because this week is usually busy enough for us. I'll take it. I'll take it. I mean, (laughs) it's another video. (laughs) It's another video. And also another time to reschedule stuff IRL. that's true <laughs> and so we do we have picked a kind of a handful of games that we think um were very cool to announce that weekend um i think i'd like to go first with probably my most anticipated indie game that i've been waiting for a long time which is bear oh, and emulator breakfast. three <laughs> so anyways so. bear and breakfast was the game that i believe was re- uh, revealed like a year or maybe two years ago, but I've been keeping a close eye on because uh, I really like customizing and kind of like tycoon type games. But then Animal Crossing released... fan. Yes, I am a massive Animal Crossing fan. Yes, uh, you, yes, we know you're boring. We don't need to stick <laughs> oh, obvious. Okay. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. okay. <laughs> hey, but... hey, hey, hey! Don't look at me like that. We are I'm not wrong. We are. We are. Too and bad. You are. <laughs> Anyways, they announced a release date, and I'm just really excited it's coming. Yeah, that makes sense. I did bring up, bring up a Goat Simulator 3. Uh, we pretty much have nothing to say on it other than the name is funny, because if you're not aware, there is not a Goat Simulator 2. Everybody, all the reactions that I saw online to that game being released was, oh, is it Dead Island? Because they did a parody of that trailer from like <laughs> 11 years ago or so. And then people realize, oh, it isn't the second the goat got on screen. Oh. And then they're like, there's a there's a ghost simulator too. And if you look at the Google Trends, <laughs> it it's just absolutely spiked. <laughs> oh my god. Simulator 2 specifically. <laughs> they they clearly were they clearly were, were were going for that. They knew that Google was gonna spike there. Yeah, and it was really smart on the marketing part, because mm-hmm. you'd get all those reactions and boom, more eyes in your game. And it was also one of the early like trendy games that most of the youtubers played for yeah. youtubers the trailer played and it's like the scene in ratatouille except they're playing they're thinking about playing goat simulator all the way back in like 2012 yeah exactly <laughs> um some of the other ones that i was interested in maybe not everybody else was uh, the the last of us show and the hey, part you're one remake? A re- look i mean no I... Re- why did that game need to have a remake well, well, there was no okay. real reason. You get a PS4 enhanced version, all right? A PS4 enhanced version. And why do you need a PS5 remake, all right? Why couldn't we have God and <laughs> Infamous 1 and 2 remastered or even a remake? I don't even because care. This one would, would make more money. Let's just I would even take Of course. Sure, sure, sure. Also, the remake in sections uh, looks significantly oh, better than the remake. Worse, even worse, all right? You think I'm going to pay for Chapter 1 when I could just play The Last of Us? Us, us, the original version, not even like remastered. All right, I'll even so, care if it's on PS3 or PS4. All right, god damn, waste of well, time. So, well, so let me just say, I liked both games, they were both good. Don't say anything else after that because I knew you're gonna say something. And I will not be buying the remaster because I played it so so soon. Yeah, it, I don't think any of us will buy it, but I guess like you, good. it's not it's like good. it's not you can see the differences. It, yeah, oh, yeah. It's a it looks, massive difference. It looks incredible now. Well, I mean, okay, to be fair, okay. like to look, Wait, look at Kaiser's just... point though. Looking at Kaiser's point though, there are other Sony exclusives out there that haven't gotten a remaster or an enhanced version. Period. Like they've been left behind for God knows how long. And like, yeah, <laughs> Last of Us made money. I know, the yeah. last of us made money. Like that was like they need the Morbius that... pick me up after the thing... <laughs> after the second Morbius bomb. They need the pick me up. So that quickly, was the thing that last of us remake. <laughs> that was the thing that pretty much made the PS3 popular right, right at the end. So I, I guess I guess that's a valid point. Yeah, but like yeah, it's they still insane. make money regardless. They're making a show. 
Well, like <laughs> if I'm making a show, I bet the show will be pretty good. But I bet it will be all right. They, I bet the show will be fine because I like Pedro Pascal and uh, I think he's in it. I'm pretty. I'm ninety percent sure. He's, I don't care about star uh, power. But the when you're making a show that's just taking the plot of a video game and putting it into a show where you where the video game is already like high, the graphics are nice enough to where you don't need a live action remake and they're not going to do anything new with the show it's just going to be a remake of it's just if you watch the show you're not going you know what's going to or you what if you played the game you know what's going to happen in the show it's just such a wild choice well yeah. okay like they could always take a spin on on certain like arcs within the story that you don't see in yeah. the actual game that's I'm, true I'm, I'm certainly that expecting that. i like, think they've confirmed that it's uh it's just it's retreading, but I'm not sure. Maybe I'm I mean, wrong. That's, that's just like PR saying like that it is PR, that it is retreading, so people get what to watch it. Retreading yeah. is still a possibility, yes, but it could also end up being false advertisements to something completely different. But let's, you know, let's, I mean, let's look at what obvious. Disney did with Obi Wan. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah. Um, spoilers, though. But uh, <laughs> yeah, that was that was something. That was definitely something. And after all, like the the kind of backlash the thing the game has kind of the whole series now has i don't think they want to do anything too rash no no yeah it's a star wars problem one yeah. thing bombs and now you're scared to make any changes or it doesn't bomb one thing is negatively received online and you have to retread everything you've done i mean there's also the well i guess journalists point of part where like you know how the last of us part two got like pretty much every award at the <laughs> the game awards like i think there is a false set of expectations that they're going to follow anyways where the third game has just it has to meet like a third possible game has to meet really really there high standards there should not be a third goddamn game all right well, i, agree I even you. care i agree with you there should not be a third game but like there moving forward with the series they really have a high set of ex expectations, whether they're real or not. And that's why they're mm. holding back. But I think just, yeah. I think just overall for the consumer, um, it's just a good thing for the consumer. If you've never played the game, it's just an extra thing. I don't know if the part, like the remaster version is still going to be included with PS Plus, considering they just, um, they just redid that whole system. I don't know how that works anymore. <laughs> um, but it was free with PS Plus, and that's how I played it. Um, yeah. And the game is now full price if you want to get the remake. Yeah. So. Which is a little wild. I know I like where the graphical improvements, while mm. noticeable and pretty good in some sections, I don't think it's enough to make you feel like you need to pay another 80 bucks for it rather than like, what's The Last of Us cost now? Probably like. Well, technically, if it's you play it with price. PS Plus, you can get like a free. We can get a free trial of PS, so free. Yeah, <laughs> but like or ten dollars uh, on the disc. If you go to like a game store and you want to pick up The Last of Us, it's not. It's going to be like twenty, thirty bucks. <laughs> uh, it's uh, ten dollars if you get the greatest hits. So oh, it doesn't. <laughs> even then, like I, it's just I don't care about graphical fidel fidelity. All right. Wow, that's a shame. I think shame. It's, I think it's definitely for the person that played it back in whenever the game came out. If so. they're not, they may as well just boot up the original game then. Well, I, if I like you want it. a better yeah. experience, that's it. What's you're telling or, me that I have to spend a lot of money to get a, a console that that's probably already sold up so many times? All right. I think I you'd be surprised if the what the average person will do. <laughs> True. No, I think, sorry. I think, oh, sorry. That's a below average person. Yeah, well, the average consumer. Kaiser's on the villain arc. <laughs> yes. Okay, all, but you think I, Kaiser Emperor? You think I'm not a villain? All right. Do we? But okay, let's just consider this. Let's just consider this at a base level. How much do we do we know if this game is a shot for shot remake or if it's going to be something that diverges a bit? Based on the look, no, it looks shot like shot. they are going to add more stuff. Quite, and you know what, you know. What one of the things that kind of like maybe a little iffy about it really is just uh, uh how how one of the voice actors that was like interviewed for a game right they said they never played The Last of Us. 
I mean, that's kind of <laughs> that's kind of typical for. Uh, I mean, that's, even dead. It's, yeah, it's, it's, not just, that it's just off-putting, really. I mean, I, mean, I bet <laughs> most part. I, I bet you can look in most games it's and find like a voice 10, actor. It's been like more than ten years, all right. Right. You should at least h- touch or at least heard of it. I mean, if you look at even like movies, I doubt anyone in like the MCU's read a comic before they were casted. Well, because then uh, Raimi did not watch WandaVision <laughs> before he directed yeah. the freaking sequel. Ouch. Yeah, and he knocked out of the park. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh boy, that's going to be a. Uh, anyway, so we should move on before this. we talk about anything more. If you're an audio listener, you might not know about our YouTube channel, where we post a review show, Play It By Tier. Subscribe using the link in the description. Anything more to, uh, what's next? The Plucky Squire, also known yeah, as let's please, a let's game just... that we don't have much to talk about, other than the fact that the trailer was amazing. Skip, 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 skip. Yep. No, yeah, I don't know, it's just a 2D game that sometimes turns into 3D, and you travel around a desk, which is very cute. Uh, mm-hmm. Starfield, bigger game. Oh. I don't okay, really we'll know start. about it. <laughs> what do you mean? Do you, do I, do I, does it look sure. like you care about Starfield? I mean, you well, might, but it looks cool to me. People stopped caring when they when they said it was uh, Xbox. <laughs> True. Exactly. Wow. Um, <laughs> uh, based on like the specs and... No, not the specs. The quick little bullet notes that we have here. Uh, yeah. It looks like they're doing a cool thing with it. Hopefully it doesn't really play much like Skyrim or Fallout, because I don't enjoy those kinds of games. Oh, you, well, what do you mean you don't enjoy boy, bugs and bugs and bugs and more bugs? True. Well, bugs. I'm saying oh, even boy. just the general gameplay. So I, I watched through most of the trailers, not too much, yeah. I just watched whatever was on Twitter, um, and they said that there are hundreds of galaxies containing thousands of planets and they kind of specified around 1000 okay oh okay um, but super you know, 64 is infinite dimensions all right i guess yeah, but like, technically okay sure 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 but like consider consider all the past uh planetary explanation like exploration games like uh i don't know starlink for battle like starlink or maybe i actually uh, think starlink did a good job somewhat starlink was I mean, okay yep. no uh, man's well, sky launched no poorly sky. but apparently it's like it's There's killing it right now. People sort of criticize that for having like repetitive. And then they got updates and updates like, and updates, and they like became a good game planet. somehow. Some people yeah. pr- criticized it for having like reskinned planets. Well, it, it was like, because they advertised it as like a multiplayer game where you would find yeah. people, but then the game was procedurally generated with billions of planets, billions of possibilities, and you would yeah. never find a single person. But in this game, I I think it's still single player. I don't know if they could still anything player. like that. Yeah, yeah, I would assume so. It's a Bethesda game. Um, I suppose they don't want to try that again. That's true. That's true. Um, what are you going to do? Of Make course, money? the concern about having thousands of planets is no content in that thousands of planets, mm-hmm. which is, yeah, that's it's very valid. If this game flops, Bethesda's screwed. <laughs> well, not I'm anymore because they have Microsoft money. Like, I wouldn't mind. Oh, well, that's true. Well, Microsoft like... will be depressed, I guess. Ah, they got the sure. IP now. Well, I mean, they kind of just threw out a console. Like, they threw, threw out you, consoles without being depressed. If you bought like more than what Sony's worth to buy Bethesda, and then, uh, <laughs> and then the game they've been working on for an incredibly long time bombs, that's going to be like, oh, we've made a mistake. Because like, what else is Bethesda? What else yeah. do you, do you of- have? You have Elder Scrolls, oh. but I feel like Starlink. If Star, not Starlink, uh, Starfield bombs or some, uh, yeah starfield bombs there's not going to be enough good faith left for people to want to play elder scrolls hmm. well i mean bethesda still has um doom and fallout the f- but i'm pretty sure doom is on. not doom isn't like the the main that isn't like the bethesda team that's just published isn't it uh it's, just published. it's published it's software works on them yeah. um but like it's yeah. considerably like so like Bethesda, Bethesda as a studio will have a bunch of bad faith because it's like, oh, you haven't oh, made a good game yeah. since Skyrim <laughs> or something. Yeah. Yeah, you can yeah. Do, you maybe really Skyrim good game? four or Skyrim four. Fallout four. Skyrim <laughs> four. Okay. Some people like that. Yeah. Um, I mean some people would argue that Oblivion's better than Skyrim, so Yeah. Well, <laughs> well yeah, of course. Then you get too deep. I have some I have some other notes and it says that uh I, Deep character customization. I love customization, so I'm glad oh, it has that. 
Yeah, um, be able to play, play the game, game matter, make the most play the game, spend two and a half hours population. customizing the character, and then never touch the game again. Well, <laughs> like, I mean, that's it's that's a first person game. Exactly. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. <laughs> but like, what if Starfield's yeah. more geared towards aesthetics and environments rather than gameplay? That would be It'd the be worst lame, so. idea on the planet. Yeah, look at the like, universe. This, technically. That's a thousand planets. Right? That's this a thousand guy planets. Is a re- is a religious Animal Crossing player. All right. That's a thousand yeah. planets. You know that, right? Microsoft and character planet simulator. <laughs> the whole the, all the details I'm seeing right now they they seem a lot more aesthetic than gameplay. And mm-hmm. I think that's a scary factor to how this game's gonna pan out. Yeah, I'm worried about the the prospect of like Skyrim styled uh, side quests or just general quests oh in the game, my gosh. where you find every NPC you talk to has something to do. And the fact that they're like Skyrim, that's a little area on a single planet. We're gonna go to a oh, yeah, thousand dude. planets. I'm gonna have a list. I'm going to have a list oh, of 100 no, things to do like at that. each planet. Oh my gosh. I'm That's willing to bet that 10 planets are going to be filled to the brim, and then the other 990 are going to be uh, like glorified sandboxes of nothing happening. <laughs> yeah. That's what do you expect? Yeah. Just, uh, all right. All right. Do you think that the community is not going to fix all their glitches and bugs day one? Oh, I mean, okay, of course they will. It's just, it's just, you know, people. No, not everyone, I'm talking about not the community, everyone's... not. No, the yeah, I think that's. What... No, of course. I mean, that's what I, <sighs> that's what I said. Of course they will, but like, that's how the many people? Part. How many people have access to that too, other than like PC players? Yeah, it's either you're yeah. you're gonna play it on Xbox or on PC, and chances are they're gonna market it on Xbox better. So. Yeah. So like, it's gonna uh... be Xbox. Oh yeah, they'll market it. They're barely functioning ports. <laughs> wow, really on the villain arc today. Uh, really anyway, on the villain arc. Moving, moving on, let's uh, let's move on to this fun little segment. Um, Tyler's Speed Bliss Superhero Video Games Corner, the only show where the title is longer than the segment. So we revealed three superhero games. We have Marvel Midnight Suns, Marvel Spider-Man, and Gotham Knights. Gotham Knights we talked a length about. Batman's dead. Uh, Spider-Man, it's cool that it's getting uh, remastered, but I'm not really going to buy it. Probably. Maybe I will. And uh, Marvel Midnight Suns, I'm a superhero shill, so I'll probably buy it eventually, but I have no opinion on it at the moment. That concludes Tyler's Speed Blitz Superhero Video video Game Corner, the only show where the title is longer than the segment. Which I think is a lie. Silk Song. Um, No release date. That's lame. All right. Has anyone here beaten Hollow Knight? I I have. I'm just it already. Playing through it right now, and Kaiser here is actually uh, sort of my guide through it. No, I'm not yeah. telling you. What are well, you talking absolute about? Absolute Radiance guy, I'm assuming. <laughs> yes. Do you think do you think okay, okay, okay. Just no, because I it. play it. just because it. I, Do you even know what absolute radiance is, yeah. man? To beat all yeah. the bosses in like no hit. That is that is that is wrong. That is yeah, wrong I've watched you a YouTube possibly. video. <laughs> I don't have to experience it for myself. I've watched someone else. <laughs> yeah, of course. Wow. Me, me and Tyler probably watched the same person. Uh, probably oh, that is not that is not don't, don't say the name don't plug them they don't need absolute radiance is there just a soup it's just an uber charged boss i don't even that is more wrong you're more wrong than you could ever be i don't is there really i i only, i did watch the trailer but silk song did it really show anything new that we haven't already seen about it i don't think I don't it matters think it because it's just the game it's just performance <laughs> it was, really it was just it was just addressing that this game still exists and it's just presentation <laughs> all right it's that's like all it is. Three. Don't worry. I mean, I mean, we have a trailer. No. We can wait. Another three has, doesn't has get even a trailer. We get, no, it did get it. It, it, it did, did. It did get one. It Barely. did get one. It got more than possibly anything we could ever ask for. Literally showed off actual combat. New stuff. New stuff. New okay. stuff. All right. Okay. Well, speaking of a game that people have been a little pessimistic about, uh, Overwatch 2. <laughs> Free to play. Ooh. Oh, it, boy. Yeah. I should have done that a long time play. ago. Okay. Free Honestly, I'm I'm a little worried. Yeah. It coming out you worried. Uh, free to play is worrisome to me yeah. as a Paladins fan because I feel it's gonna that will kill the game. That might be the <laughs> nail in the well. coffin. The that might be the nail in the coffin that mer- Okay, there's either two ways it goes. Overwatch just stomps and kills Paladins in one hit, mm-hmm. or Paladins <laughs> somehow survives and then eventually outlasts it Overwatch 2 as well. So 
Um, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I mean, Paladins it's does have Blizzard. a following. Paladins does have a following, and Blizzard Paladins is, is much different. Blizzard's Blizzard. becoming Microsoft. It's true. Um, we'll but yeah, I hope the single player is good because it's insane that they spent so much time on this game and yeah. nothing has come of it. <laughs> yeah, two heroes, two maybe a new map, and that's it. Two characters and a day-night cycle that isn't actually a cycle, <laughs> but just lighting differences. And a Switch version exists. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Motion controls, probably, again. Yeah. Uh, I didn't play the first one, but it coming to Switch and also just everything for free, which is just cool. I will say uh, from personal experience, uh, the Switch version of Overwatch did run really well, so I'm optimistic oh. that they'll, they won't screw this one up either. Hmm. Uh, I probably won't play it on Switch, but I yep. see Minecraft. PC. I only saw one picture. Oh. What is it? I've, I'm so confused. It's like um, I, I couldn't know, really like... tell. It, it, so it looks like how it looks a little bit like Dragon Quest Heroes, and I know Kaiser said it's not like that, but I've never played the game. But it just looks like that in well, a way that it's a spin off of a different game. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Um, but it, you, this, you... the name of it is like an action strategy. They that's the genre, the genre they put to I don't it. Even, I don't even know what that genre is, to be honest. So then that's a little bit closer to what like uh, that makes me think like Mario like, Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. I think kind of like that's that. Tacti that's tactical RPG though. That's just oh, it's ha that that is okay. Yeah. That's weird. All I remember is I saw a tweet where someone showed a picture of the trailer, or is it? It was. I'm assuming there was a trailer. Showed a picture and yeah. just said, "This is what people in 2012 said Minecraft 2 would look like." <laughs> oh yeah. Mm. And it turned so, out to be just a leak of a spinoff. The definition yeah, it leaked is it all the way back in 2012. The definition is compared to other genres such as action or adventure games, where one player takes on many enemies. Strategy games usually involve some level of symmetry between sides. Each side generally has access to similar resources and actions, with the strengths and weaknesses of each side being generally balanced. So maybe like PvP uh, Paladins, kinda. PvP, well, maybe okay. P maybe PvP League of Legends, first person shooter. Oh uh, no, Skylanders. PvP, okay, okay. Skylanders you said PvP League of Legends. All right. Uh, tell me. What is it PvP about League of Legends, all right? Well it is, it's like team based, what I'm saying, like one player yeah. versus one player where they where they each kind of take over their own troops. I guess it's not PvP. Like Oh, what is it like I don't I know. Think, yeah, that's a weird Without way to gameplay, it's it. hard to guess. You're also Has anyone here properly played Minecraft Dungeons just for a sense no. of quality? Nope. I have not played that. Oh, I think quality. only okay. I think only Jack Cheat has played that. I, I played a very little bit, and I guess it was quality enough, but I didn't have much experience with it. So I don't, I don't really know how to think about Minecraft spinoffs if they're uh, of quality yeah. or Minecraft not. Story mode. <laughs> I've kind of boycotted myself, saying that okay, I'm never gonna play anything that they make that Microsoft makes for Minecraft because I just want yeah. them to support the original game. Yeah, uh, but they still they do. Only, because yeah, they they still count. do, but they they're doing it for free, so they have to make money somehow. I guess I'm still not going to support them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us and discussing our favorite announcements from Summer Game Fest slash E3. We'd love if you could follow us on Twitter and listen to future episodes on Spotify and iTunes. Join our community Discord server to continue today's discussion, and we'll see you next time on the Switch Clicks podcast. Nailed it! Yeah. Episode has been saved! Finally. Finally. <laughs>